Hello and welcome to AM Guitar with me, Anjay. Today I want to discuss with you modding guitars. If you've been around my channel for any length of time, you will have seen that from time to time I enjoy modding things. My DS1's gone through a few, uh, few iterations at this point. Um, and a Harley Benton Strat that I used to own had quite a few mods and I did two videos on it. And recently, I have been criticised for modding that guitar. And it just got me thinking, what do you think about modding guitars? So my view is, if I've got a guitar that doesn't quite do everything that I want it to do, I will mod it to do what I want it to do. So first started when I had... <laughs> when I had my first ever electric guitar, my Charvel Reverse Dinky. Sorry, Charvette's Reverse Dinky. And I remember oh, the number of things I did to that. If I could ever find it again, I'd show it to you because it's got so many holes in it where I've changed switches, put things in, put things out, changed pickups, sanded bits off it, stuck things on it. Um, and I've done the same to a few guitars over the years, where I've just done things to them that make them sound how I want them to sound, or play how I want them to play. Um, so, for instance, my uh, Pioneer 2, Tanglewood Pioneer 2, that had wiring changes to do push-pull pots for uh, split coils. I put different humbuckers in, Seymour Duncans in. And obviously with the Harley Benton, I did... I put change pickups in it, I changed the uh, pickup selector, and what particularly upset certain people was sanding the neck down, because I don't like glossy necks. Uh, you know, if, I, if I'm if i playing, I'm a bit oh, a bit sweaty, and my hand sticks to a, um, a glossy neck. That uh, was my only real complaint about the new Harley Benton Junior DC uh, Ferris Blue thingy that I've got, is that my hand sticks to it. Um, so yeah, I, and I had all kinds of, uh, quite a few complaints about sanding down the neck. Oh, you've taken a beautiful glossy neck and ruined the guitar and blah, blah, blah. Now my first instinct is to say, well, you know, stuff you, it's, it's my guitar and I can do what I want to it. But then at the same time, I do sometimes sit back and see people modding classic kind of old guitars and thinking, oh, you know, what are you doing? But again, the same thing applies. It's their guitar, and guitars are meant for playing. And th this, I think, is kind of the crux of it. So, you know, my questions to you are, do you agree with modding guitars, first of all? Uh, and if not, why not? And I suppose, secondly, do you agree with modding... If you agree with kind of like modding a Harley Benton, for instance, do you also agree with modding, say, a 59 Les Paul? Um or a classic Telecaster or something, you know, would you would you rip the neck pick out, uh, pick up out on a 50-year-old Telecaster and put a humbucker in, for instance? And if the answer is different for both, why? You know, uh, for me, guitars are for playing. They're, they are beautiful, beautiful instruments, totally, but at the same time, they need to do something that I want them to do. They need to play well, they need to sound how I want them to sound, play how I want them to play. For me, they are tools, beautiful tools, but they are tools. Uh, they're not museum pieces. I don't hang them on my wall as art. So yeah, your thoughts on modding kind of cheap modern guitars versus modding classic guitars versus modding anything at all, you know, pedals, amps, whatever it may be. What are your views? Let me know in the comments. Tell me about things you've done, things you regret. I regret modding my DS1 some days, and some days I don't. Um, I've never regretted modding any of my guitars because I always did it to get something out of the guitar it didn't do before. Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, tell me your stories, and I will see you again very soon. Cheers. Yeah.